name is Jan Verhoeven, and I'm a learning theorist married to a virologist. So today on That's Why, I want to talk about why flattening the curve actually isn't about preventing or stopping the virus from spreading. It's more about keeping the virus from spreading at a much slower rate so that not everybody gets sick at once. So let me explain. You've probably all seen the graph with the two curves. The first curve in red represents the number of people who get sick without protective measures. And the blue curve represents what happens with protective measures like social distancing, washing your hands, covering your face when you cough, and so on. But what does it actually mean? Well, first, let's focus on this green line, which represents the healthcare system capacity. Our healthcare system can only take so many people at one time. For instance, in our local hospital, they have about 15 ventilators that are available. Ventilators are breathing machines that give people oxygen when they have trouble breathing, like if they have pneumonia or in severe cases of flu. That means if 15 people come down with coronavirus and have complications breathing, the hospital can tend to the needs of these 15 people until they're well enough to recover. At 15 people, the hospital is now considered at maximum capacity. The problem is when that 16th person comes through the hospital doors, the hospital will not have enough ventilators to take care of that person. At least, not until one of the other 15 people being treated is well enough to go off the ventilator. The hospital is now over capacity, which means it can no longer adequately take care of every person who comes in with COVID-19 or any patient who is in need of a ventilator. Over capacity is represented by anything above this green line. To put it another way, if 100 people inevitably get sick, our local hospital can handle all 100 people if only five people are getting sick each week over the span of 20 weeks. The hospital can handle 10 people getting sick if it happens over the span of 10 weeks. However, if more than 15 people are sick at one time, you go over capacity. What we really don't want is when suddenly 100 people are sick in the span of three or four days. The extreme measures of social distancing and self-quarantine are intended to keep hospitals at or below maximum capacity. You can do that by taking precautions to keep people from getting sick at one time. Otherwise, you end up with people who are not able to get adequate medical care at the most crucial time when they need it. Take for example, if a college student who gets COVID-19 goes to class, that person has now exposed 25 students and one instructor to the disease. Three days from now, 26 people are sick. As you can see, that can potentially overload our hospital. With social distancing, that one COVID-19 student stays home. If they need treatment and go to the hospital, there's now only one person who needs treatment and not 26. Although these measures will not protect 100% of our population, and it's inevitable that a large number, some people even predict two thirds of our population, will be infected at some point, we wanna slow down the rate of infection so that not everyone gets sick at one time. So let's talk about a tale of two kitties, and I'll explain this another way. So this is a modified version of the story introduced by Twitter user Dr. Anne-Marie Darling, and you can see her Twitter handle on the bottom left-hand side of the screen. I want you to imagine that this toilet paper roll represents the healthcare system capacity. And then this kitty, who was drawn by our graphic artist Brad Covington, represents how many people are infected with COVID-19. If we don't socially isolate, meaning if we don't do the following like social distancing, frequent hand washing, covering coughs and sneezes, avoiding touching one's face, or periodically disinfecting surfaces, we get kittyzilla. Kittyzilla means that the number of people who get infected all at one time is over maximum capacity. Kittyzilla will absolutely shred our healthcare capacity because we don't have enough ventilators, beds, or people to adequately care for everyone. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, I'm not sick, so it's fine for me to go outside. Think again, because the CDC tells us that COVID-19 symptoms 
take two to 14 days to show up. Two to 14 days. That means you can be a walking Petri dish freely infecting everyone for a while before you even know that you're sick. Therefore, assume you're infected and that you need to change your behavior to avoid transmitting to others. To put it another way, a recent study in science which looked at the Wuhan outbreak observed that for every confirmed case of COVID-19, there were six undetected cases. If we have 3,500 confirmed cases in the US, you might be looking at 35 thousand people who were infected in reality. For China, 86% of all COVID-19 cases were undetected and scientists speculate that they are responsible for two-thirds of the spread of the disease. The take-home message here, even if you don't feel sick, you could still have the disease and you can spread it to others. Practice social distancing and don't get other people sick. When you do the following, practicing social distancing, frequent hand washing, covering coughs and sneezes, avoid touching one's face, and disinfecting surfaces, we get soft kitty. Soft kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fur. Happy kitty, sleepy kitty, purr, purr, purr. Soft kitty doesn't mean we've stopped the infection. It means that we've slowed our rate of infection so that our healthcare system can keep up. It also means that fewer people get sick and fewer people die. Remember, soft kitty is happy kitty. When we get soft kitty, we're flattening or cattening the curve. So here are those two curves again for you. And the takeaway from it is this. If we choose to do nothing, we'll summon kittyzilla. But when we practice social distancing, hand washing, and all those other great preventative measures to keep from getting sick, will slow down the spread of the virus. So let's strive toward the soft kitty curve and everything will be okay. Thank you so much for watching. I've included a link of these slides in the description below if you wanna share and help other people understand. And if you really like this video presentation, I'm going to start sharing a lot more stuff about learning, especially for those of you who are teaching your kids at home. So please subscribe to this channel and I'll see you again next time. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye now.